Welcome to the Keepers of the Golden Gate, session 48, I believe. It is the 15th of May, 2020. I am Ryan, the GM. Here are the players. Dre and I play Arya Bluebird, the Half Elf Druid. How's it going? Sean, play Bastiel, the Wolfforge Cleric. Hi, everyone. I am Scott. I am playing Crumbar, who is a Half Orc Paladin. Hi, I'm Sophie. I play Kitlith Anastasia, a Wood Elf Rogue. Hi, I'm Stuart. I play Reach, a Half Elf Monk. Excellent. And what does everybody remember from last time? I didn't die! Sophie, what do you remember from last time? <laughs> that is an excellent question! <laughs> and I realised I forgot to listen to the last thing! Oh my god! So, does everybody oh. want to catch Sophie up? Am I coming through anyone else's, by the way? Because I keep lighting up the same as other time people are speaking. Uh, at the moment, you're okay. Uh, oh, no, turn that down. Ooh. Well, uh, your horse is dead. Oh. <laughs> well. So it's <sighs> don't, don't worry, spirit, all our horses are dead. That's not oh, well, true. that's slightly better. It's <laughs> that, Shan. One of them's yeah. alive. The one that had run away from yeah. before. Oh, yeah! yeah. <laughs> we only had three. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes. Who was that one? That was Reach's. Mine was the ones that oh. ran away. Yeah. So, yeah. I knew yeah. what was one coming. One party yeah. member that was entirely indifferent about that. Go away. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder he wasn't so fussed, right? Well, mine's will live. <laughs> yeah. I, I didn't die. Yeah, um, that's something. So, so, so mm -hmm. that was good. Um... That was that was not fun. Mm, yeah. Um, yeah, I would definitely. That was I would definitely suggest maybe going and listening to the crumbar parts just for your own entertainment, Sophie, because it probably <laughs> is fun to watch. Um, Ryan, Ryan broke my brain. Um, I mean, that doesn't seem like a difficult task. Yeah. Oh. oh. This is why she kept the claws, everybody. Um, <laughs> You are somewhat quiet yeah. on mine, so Sophie. I don't know actually. I've turned it up a bit I now. I but... turn my mic down to so the input volume is at seventy-three. Right. You don't no, need not... to mic down. Uh, you need your. Uh, it was. Oh well, mind you, I see what you mean. Why? Yeah. I just said there was the volume. Uh, the speaker down. Yeah, oh, we'll see what happens. I've turned you up a bit on my um, side, but you're quiet. Um. What else? Uh, we finally got through that door, mm -hmm. uh, which oh, was did good. Did you try knocking? You did? Yeah, it didn't work. Didn't work. Um, someone found the key. I can't remember which one it was. It was, was it Rich. Was it Rich the chest found of the a key. wizard? Yeah. Mm -hmm. huh. um, I literally. Luckily, his chest was wide open, so it was easy to find. But yeah. <laughs> it was the guy you torched, what? right? Yeah. <laughs> well, what else? Whoops. <laughs> Uh, we entered the library and yes, the one that like Eremos would have died for. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And we stole a bunch of books, yep. and then we realised, oh wait, this pristine library does belong to someone, and we got arrested. <laughs> we're almost arrested. We're, we're about to find out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wasn't the... it's safe to say we got caught. Uh, <laughs> What was that? Sorry, Sophie. Again, quiet. Very quiet for me. Sorry, I'll turn it up in a second. Uh, it wasn't the the prismatic order, was it? No, unlikely. Ooh, no no idea. idea. They're very short. <laughs> oh. Oh, and uh, Floaty McBuffer did uh, got stabbed in the chest. Who? What? Who? Yeah, I know. Like, like, it's got to be any less big. <laughs> um. I don't even know. I was there. Let's find out. At the end, you know, um... Horodactorus... Horodactorus the Drekka. Oh, uh, yeah, right, he yeah, got stabbed in the chest. Yeah. The so he, he, he might... The, yeah. Yeah. yeah, the Arcane Anvil guy. The guy in charge of the magic. The one that so he might be dead. <laughs> yeah. Or he might not be. It was very ambiguous, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Mm. Uh, anything else? Mm -hmm. um, See, to be fair, if a level 20 whatever wizard can die with one stab, then he's pretty shit anyway. <laughs> I mean, yeah, right. Like, yeah. <laughs> Just depends what he was up against, right? 
Um, a level 21 wizard. Aha. I have out wizarded you by one level. Um, but yeah, so also something I need to clarify with Scott beforehand. I'm going to assume during the two hours of everybody looking around the library, when you didn't really do much in that two hours, I'm going to assume you would have taken an hour to have looked over your your sword and attuned to it. Right, yeah. I was actually going to ask that before we did start. Um, mm. um, will I need to attune or am I already attuned? I thought like maybe being part of the dreamland was the attunement, but yeah, sure, that works for me. Yeah, you wouldn't have been attuned to it. It's a new thing. But yeah, you can be now because you did have two hours of doing not much, so... Now, in the two hours of everybody looking over the library. Uh, oh, shit. Yeah, so if I got a new sword. Yeah, you did. Sword? Wait, yep. it was Crumbar that just spoke, wasn't yes, it? Yes, that was indeed. Sad, sadly, yeah. <laughs> As I said, and I, I, Apparently, I, I didn't even know I was getting it, so yeah, I thought I was losing things more than anything. <laughs> he gave uh, up his axe, put it that way. Which made me sad. Yeah, the, the axe of, um, you know, dear God's demonic tribe. Um, yeah, so that's that's no longer a thing Crumbar has. But give it up or break it. No, he, no, he, I had he, to. I had to. give it up. Yeah, yeah, had to. Yeah, had to give it up so I wouldn't die. Basically, so I was like, "Cheers, Ryan, you punishing bastard." I never said that at all. That's not nothing that happened in that dream sequence. Said that. <laughs> no, but that is what I thought it was happening. And that's on you. That ain't on me. <laughs> um, like I said, Ryan hurt my brain. <laughs> <laughs> um, as I said, definitely worth uh, watching because of the guest star appearances in that particular sequence. Um, beyond that, uh, yeah, you can, you can see how wrong Scott got that based on McFloaty dude got stabbed, being the clearest of instructions. <laughs> yeah, how dare you badly paraphrase me? Um, beyond that, made that, sense in my head. Beyond that, yep, you got a new sword. You probably spent time looking over your ritual pages that you've ripped out of a book um, I just said that made sense to have kept you busy while every day poured through the library um, made the most sense to me at least but mm -hmm. yeah and that was UK by the way in case that was unclear mm -hmm. now we just wait until breaking up a bit yeah you're still super quiet for me see I turned it up to 80 and then I whenever Scott was talking, my little green thing to say that I'm speaking kept lighting up while he was talking, so... Mm. I can't hear the echo, to be fair, Same. though. Yeah, no, me neither. I did notice the lighting up, but I've not heard any echoes. Oh, well, as long as you're not hearing any echoes, then I'll, I'll turn it up a bit. Yeah, we'll mm -hmm. let you know if anything comes through. Uh, I'll put it to 85. Okay. I think we can deal with 85. 85 looks up okay. to 11. <laughs> we don't need that, yeah. <laughs> Just hear the whole game three times. Um, I mean, then there's no excuse for us not to hear what we said, right? You'd think so, right, Scott? Um, what, 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 sorry? Yeah, mm -hmm. uh huh. Anyway, uh, anything else that happened last time that you feel like Sophie needs to know? Or are we good? Um, oh, we're no longer stuck in a bunch of plants. <laughs> yep. That's really? That's valid, to be honest. Imagine you were actually high on mushrooms and this was all a dream. Oh, I believe it. We found too much like oh. esoteric knowledge <laughs> from the treasure trove. Yep. Mm. That's it. Yeah, you did. He's got a bunch of good knowledge, to be honest. He um, mm -hmm. did some good book hunting. Obviously, the people that actually can speak dwarven. Um, <laughs> oh yeah. Got some good books. Yep. Um, okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right, I've made a, I've made a new tab Cooking. on the uh, the tracker. Sure. Obviously, yeah. only uh, some people are in this tracker. So why is every day? Can you join us in the game manager? Uh, uh, what tab? Are we to be? Are we just to be in the gold gold tracker? I don't know. Have a look. There's a new tab. Yes. Yeah, so, yeah. 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 So I see the new tab. <laughs> there we go. Yes. 
Um, I mean, obviously, the the most important one is me. We should run Burst most awesome orc in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Remove <laughs> all other Do orcs from the world. not give him ideas. <laughs> Alright, okay. <laughs> Again though, <laughs> right? Again, you're not Jesus. I'm not, not sure how that goes. <laughs> he died for Benjamin, did he? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> died to make Benjamin real. Um, but yes, the Crown Bars Make a Wish Foundation page. <laughs> wow. Um, we've got a. Uh, like I like there how moss, there, good. Yeah, there's like a, a realistic actual attempt here of uh, yeah. yep. That could be useful that mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. it's quite a big one. Uh -huh. Um and obviously the big golden box for the actual wish because I will need it typed out so that when you can Scott says it for a whole week before you actually make it up. Well I said that to Scott, it's like just give me enough time to actually like deal with the wish because if it's complex I don't want to just make an on the spot like yeah. in interpretation of it, but at the same time, yeah, it's it is a big. Deal. I think I think that's a good wish. I wouldn't. Okay, so fine. That's what you wish for. So that's what Crumbler <laughs> says. You can mark off the use of the wish. <laughs> well, I haven't said that. I, I, uh... Too late. Oh. It's send the send the gold thing. Too late. You you messed with the sheet. <laughs> Scott, I have no idea what no idea what you're on. About. Don't make me revert this to an earlier edition. <laughs> oh my god, Kay, oh. that's a genius one. <laughs> yeah, I mean that that's equally valid, right? Fuck yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, you should see half the shit I was saying to Ryan. I was just Honestly. like, <laughs> I mean, I, like I was like, I was like, could I turn Kenny back into a cat? No. Imagine to go through all that bullshit just to be turned back. It's like, hey, guess what? Meow, meow, motherfucker. I'd just like permanently scratch you at any at every opportunity. Crumbar is distracted by an enemy. <laughs> mm -hmm. I suppose it'd be worth it if he did say yeah, a cat as well and not a tabaxi, right? Because, yeah. Grumbar doesn't wear a helmet, does he? <laughs> <laughs> Just like oh, no. oh, no. into his head. <laughs> no, not a tabaxi. Suddenly he gets a hat. <laughs> uh, Ryan, what are the really tiny cat people you can go? Scratchy one. There aren't really tiny cat people. Since... <laughs> yeah, like. Domesticated <laughs> cat. I'm, I'm... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was as bad as Tabak's story, isn't it? It really is. Oh, <laughs> yeah. um, um, I don't know what tiny cat people are. I don't like th those exist, Scott. Like. <laughs> tiny cat people? Young tabaxis? Mm. Like baby tabaxi? Genius. Yeah, we've lost Scott. It's fine. He's gone. Scott's like. Right. Um. But anyway, this tab exists now, so people feel free to like put in any ideas that you feel might be relevant for Scott. Um, Sweet. The biggest issue would be that Crumbar needs to be able to wish for it. Yeah, those aren't in D and D, buddy. I'm sure I've seen them on a D and D. They're they're Where not. They? They're probably from the. There's an RP know, system about playing dogs, and there's one about playing cats, so they're probably from that. Have you oh. seen them on Cat Quest? Yeah, there's um, there is actually like an RP system. Oh, I can't remember what it was. Was it RPG. Either way, that is playing... what that's what I, I, I want to turn her into, and then just like keep her on my shoulder, and <laughs> just like <laughs> use me as a height advantage for range attacks. Yeah, but wish. Stand on your head. Pugmire. That was what it was called. Pugmire is something about dogs. And there's one about cats. I don't know what it. Yay! I feel like <laughs> I'm shaping the world. Monarchies of Mo introduces cats to the world of Pugmire. There we go. Uh, him. So yeah. 
Hogmeyer. Yeah, it's the RP where you play badass dogs. Um, Hogmeyer, okay. Yeah, like, <laughs> I know we're so off track here, so anybody that listens to us, fair play. But, like, yeah. Like, yay! Like, <laughs> honestly, it. I've never ever even looked into the system, but, like, we play this with Cap once. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not bringing that up again, so. <laughs> I think when somebody picks Tabaxi, they already declare a lot about themselves as it is. So, hey, no. there's no <laughs> shaming. There's no, need, there's no need to shame anybody beyond what she has already done to herself. <laughs> Big cat Some of energy. Us just wanted the charisma and whatever stuff. Look how <laughs> shifty that cat at the back looks like. What's the what with charisma? I played as a cat once. Mm-hmm. We it was a one shot where we were all cats. It was apparently a uh, a thing like a pre made thing, a pre made adventure called Call of Cat Sulu. Oh, I see. Oh yes. my god! Oh yeah! Oh. It was so much fun. I mean, acid is a hell of a drug, so you know. <laughs> no, Speaking no, no, of acid, it wasn't right? That. Goals. Yes. Mm, yeah. Thank you. What are we? Make everyone a cat. I mean, that could be your no. wish, right? But then, no, is that make everyone turn right into minutes. a cat, or just make everyone a cat for them? Can can we be Thundercats? Again, no. just a bunch of variations of Tabaxi with sub race features. Like, no. <laughs> Yay! Okay, goals. Yes. Are we changing Delicious. any of the five? Um. <clears throat> so the last time we trained, they traded out number three, uh, so that they trade lasagnas. Mm-hmm. 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 Um, Can't wait for the the, the sure great I'm dwarven bake off episode. <laughs> oh my god, that would be so good. Um, I'm I'm still happy with all those ones. Mm. <laughs> the stone of school. Uh, do we still want to do the vampire thing? curious but... what did you have in mind um pr- maybe something to do with successfully convincing the dwarfs not to you know imprison us or something like but i don't know i think that kind of falls in with number four but also it's... successfully not to imprison you you do still have the we get to go see the king because our deck letter right yeah, but out of character, we know that he can't. He's not alive to confirm that. Yeah, that he wrote it. Oh, no, maybe. Have... Yeah, and I doubt <coughs> word has reached this place. I mean, we could. For all we know, we couldn't. Act, we might not even be in there. Uh, you know, forge. Because yeah, uh, I, we, I yeah. mean, think about it, we found that key on a on a dark elf. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and that corridor like, was definitely. Varying lengths compared to what you walked. It was a wibbly wobbly timey wimey corridor. Uh, yeah, that is the one kind of corridor that would link the two together, to be fair. <laughs> so we could well be there. Uh, yeah, I say we just go through this session and then change accordingly. If we do get imprisoned and so on, then that becomes a goal. <laughs> if we do get imprisoned, uh, you know us well. <laughs> <laughs> wow. When we do. Yeah. When yeah, we get imprisoned, uh, we will deal with that accordingly. Um, yeah. I'm pretty sure I updated all your XP and stuff, Sophie, on your sheet. I feel like I did all that for you. I am... um, what is it supposed to be? should be on the session tracker. One ninth six hundred. Yeah, it is. Cool. cool. In theory, the session tracker should always have that kind of running tool um, next to it. It's just not a column because I really couldn't be bothered re-editing it. Um, but yeah. Uh, like usually, I put in what I give you on a session, and then what the current total should be. Mm-hmm. And then sometimes I forget and catch up about five sessions at a time. But that's fine. Um, but yes. So nope, no changes to goals. That sounds good to me then. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. So currently they still sit at get word to GGW about Gil. Investigate who or what the mistress of the flame is. Arya and Bastiel to trade languages? Question mark. To get the dwarfs to help the citadel. 
find out who the vampire is. No, 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 no. And <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> that made me so happy. You're welcome. Uh, wait. So, guess I will. Session forty-eight starts. Done. Uh, right. So, based on what happened last time, you've had dwarves accost you, <laughs> shouting intruders and running at you with their weapons. So I guess we'll just open straight there, right? Mm-hmm. So, mm. <laughs> so would I would I have any um like key uh, not key uh, what's the word? Like Cannon. code words from the, the wall with the dwarves and the dark elves. Like yeah. you know you're, in, you're never me... put into service. I wouldn't know any though. Yep. Hmm. No safety words. Remember they turned oh. you on and went, Oh, nope, not this. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Okay. Well, well I did. <laughs> I like the idea you that guys... Bastille goes, Ah, no, I got nothing, guys. Yeah, I, I can't do that. Uh... Um. Probably just talking well, to them in their the language note. would help. You just show them the note. I don't know about yeah. the note. Maybe. I don't know. Um, I mean, I've still got the. I, I still have the note because no one took it off me. What? Um, I think um, if that's the case, then is um, you know, Dorothy's have shouted intruders started running towards. Do you speak dwarven? Oh, I thought you. I thought. Do you they speak dwarven? And gone, no, I don't. Then no, you don't know that they shouted. You just know there's a bunch of dwarves <laughs> running at you. Oh, okay. Okay, so a bunch of dwarves running at me. Okay. E right, bunch of dwarves are running at me anyway. Um, I'd like to let somebody else do something. Yeah. So we know a Bastille and I know, don't we? Oh, yeah, yeah. So. Use, use do something. Anyone that speaks I dwarven know. has understood what I the know. dwarf shouted. Yeah. So, you know, okay, yeah. they've shouted yeah. intruders. Yeah. So... Mm. Just Got shout me. out to uh, Bill. Look back at us. Uh, calm down. It's okay. Uh, right. Introduce ourselves. So, uh, talk me through how this goes because they're yeah. running at you, right? So, we freeze framed in that. We look at Reach. What does Reach do? Right. First of all, tell, uh, shout back. Uh, tell the group to st stay still. Don't do it. Don't react. Your group, um, yeah. Cool. Yeah, our group. Say hello. I'm Reach from the Great Golden Citadel. Uh, uh, we're on a mission, uh, on a quest here uh, to help the Citadel. Right. See what they say to that. Well, okay. Yeah. Right. So as you say that to them in Dwarven, presumably, they yeah. uh, make it easier. The guards obviously, like there was, I think there was two of them, and one of them had shredded off, obviously. Intruders to go get the other guards, and then both of them ran at you guys with some kind of bizarre halberd type weapon in their arms. Mm. And they like, once they're maybe about 15 feet in front of you guys, like they stop, point the halberd kind of at you, and you say that to them. And they say, Drop your weapons, you are trespassing. Uh, uh turn around to our group and say uh, if everybody can you drop your weapons please I'll s open my hands and just mm -hmm. put them make them visible to them just chop your hands off <laughs> here you go <laughs> I'll <them> back later <laughs> I think if you've done that they'd just start like screaming in terror just gaffer tape them up it'll be fine <laughs> this is why we imagine if they were they could do what that. was that sorry Sophie it's why he wears wristbands, right? Mm -hmm. Like yeah. arm guard hides the uh, the chopped off marks. <laughs> um, Ari, yeah. what are you saying there? Sorry. I was saying, imagine if you had a character that could actually do that mm -hmm. <laughs> randomly, yeah. like drop a piece of like their body, and then there is I mean, something in this system like somewhere. They're gonna say there is a system somewhere, right? I am. It's not. I don't know <laughs> if it's in D and D, but there. I can't remember what it was from, but there is spells to detach limbs so they can go do stuff for you. I am Bad, uh, like I, rocket punch, uh, wow. but more necromantic, right? Um, 
I've been mean, thinking it'd be a necromancy thing, but it's, yeah, I, I can't remember what it's from. That at all. But it is okay, like you so can just detach your arm and cycle. let it kind of crawl yeah. along the ground and go do stuff for you, and then it comes yeah. back. Well, actually, no. it's crazy. But necromancy plus fireworks equal rocket punch. Yeah. So that's how we ended up with thing in the Adams family, then, yeah. Probably, yeah. yeah. That necromancer mm. somewhere, like hoping <laughs> thing will come back one day with help. <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah, uh, yeah. I, I was gonna say, um, if we're all dropping our weapons, I'll offer them the dwarven hammer I made with my. Artisan feature, and uh, they just they, did can, you, oh. they just shout to you if you even attempt to like move towards them with a weapon. Did you shout halt? Drop your weapons. Yeah, I'll throw it on the floor towards them. Mm. They kind of like. And hopefully, they'll see like the the markings and inscriptions of the dwarven language from a hundred years ago and see it's legit. Nah, they're property. too busy looking at the group of randos that have just appeared in their castle, right? No, fair enough. Like for now, like maybe maybe there's going to be some kind of you know Metal Gear Solid style two guards having a random chat <laughs> later, you know. But uh, <laughs> until then, they're not going to spend time looking at a weapon on the ground when they've got a bunch of strangers. Um, yeah. Keep in mind how weird your group looks. Just keep that in mind. <laughs> um, I guess I'll say we're with Ordak in Dwarven. Okay. Uh, yeah. yeah. Very good. Arya's going to be looking through all of them, like, you know, like watching a game of ping pong because she doesn't understand, obviously. Does anyone <laughs> obviously reach translated for you to say everybody drop your weapons? Mm. Did everybody drop your well, weapons? Yeah, but other than that. So I've. Well, I'm not holding any of my weapons. Crumbar, though. Yeah, <laughs> boy. I mean, currently no one's told me they've done anything with their weapons because even Reach has a quarter stuff that he hasn't dropped yet. I don't. Do I? I thought I got rid of it. We're not holding any of them right now, are we? There's just me at the back, like dropping oh. all the weapons on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, was, I was thinking, like, you'd have a little pile next to you. I don't have a core stuff. Do you know? Did way. you get rid of it? Right? I thought you still had rid it. of that ages ago. Oh. That yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, we were leaving you, I was going to say, yeah, was. you left it at the Golden Citadel. Yeah. That's oh. what you did, buddy. So um, did. I think is since Reach has asked me. I've kind of like just kept eye contact with like one of the dwarves, and I, I've just kind of bent down <laughs> to like put my sword on the ground, but I've like just kind of not left eye contact with him, okay. and I just kind of stay crouched down yeah, beside say, my like, weapon. This like great sword as well that he has does like just it is kind of glorious looking, right? It is so well made. Um, it has a bit of an aura. To itself, um, looks immaculate. Definitely not some weird twisted black and red metal dax thing. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, um, but yeah. So every day, I assume ditches other hazards. Oh, sorry. By the way, the aura, the aura. Would I recognise that from you know being no. a cleric of Celeste? Nope. Hmm. Nope. So I don't know Celeste related at all. Nope. Hmm. Not just at a glance, anyway, that's for sure. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, so, so yeah. are you, you ditch everything, or are you keeping it on your back? If everybody's ditching them, then I'll be ditching them too, but I was just being pedantic and saying that I wasn't holding anything. <laughs> there was a weapon. But, yeah. We're not like sure. I said, because I don't understand the language, I'll just be doing what other people, mm. especially the ones that do understand the language, are doing. But again, Rich yeah. told you you have to drop yeah, your yeah, weapons. Yeah. Yeah. And you understood that. So that's yeah. why I'm now asking, are you going to de yeah, yeah. without getting rid of your actual limbs? Um, yeah. Without being de -armed. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, let's face it, if anything's threatening me, I could just throw fireballs yeah, and like, stuff at them. Yeah, I'm not right. that... I'm not unarmed, even when I'm unarmed. Well, isn't it a focus? Yeah, work? exactly. Yeah, The focus <laughs> will be important, yes. Um, but yes. Besides that, any spell that doesn't require material components is totally fine. Um, <laughs> unless you have the uh, whatever the component for fireball is, which I think is like guano. Uh, right? Bad guano, yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> Bastiel, you de-arming? Yeah, through my... Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, your yeah. hammer, yep. So I threw cool. the pick at them and just throwing the hammer on the floor. Cool. Is anyone, here's a better question, is anyone trying to keep weapons on them? Nope. Um, I don't know why you were looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've, <laughs> I've 
I've still got a hand axe, but you know it's not yeah, really but like a you'll, you'll weapon. Be, it is a weapon. Anything that you have to think about for two seconds longer than that is a weapon. So yeah. Okay, hand axe, crossbow, all on the floor. Basically, I don't want you to delete stuff from your character sheets. I just want you to accept that you don't have weapons, so that later you can say, "Well, yeah. I tried to hide this because that's what the stuff is. I need to know if you're trying to hide stuff." So yeah. Yeah. Oh, so. right, right. Ah, um. How is that not clear? When I said, is anyone trying oh, to keep weapons on themselves? Put down my, 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 my like. No, they want um, you. You literally, you're held at halberd. You, you're held at halberd point just now, and they want you to ditch all your weapons. You, so. you know what? Yeah. I could, I could probably take a dwarf in fisty cuffs. So yeah, I'd. I'd I mean, there is a lot of you guys, and there's currently only two of them. So. Mm -hmm. Oh shit. <laughs> I mean, provide, currently can, there's only two of them. That was no. a big word. The currently, yeah. but right. considering <laughs> considering there is like a ninety seven percent chance we are in Forge, let's not fuck up the dwarves. Yeah, yeah. I mean, my way through all of Forge may be awkward. The biggest clue was the part where I let you complete that goal without you having any clarity to it. They get to Forge safely goal, right? Yeah, like that was. I would say that was me being subtle, but was it? Um, With it, yeah. Mm. So, oh yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna assume no one is holding on to any weapons based on the fact that no one has said that. Good. So he's yeah. I can keep my shield, shield right. No. A shield counts as a weapon. Yep, because you make an attack with a shield. Okay. Can you? Mm -hmm. Shield the bash. Shield. There's a shield yep. bash, is there? So. So anything's a weapon because of improvised weapon. So. Oh, fuck. Nice. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. So if you call my winter blanket a weapon, no, you could because you could <laughs> strangle somebody with that. So yeah. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> also, most things you could choke on. So yeah. Um, I love the winter blanket down the door. So, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, I, I feel this is get going to turn dark soon. So yeah, no yeah. one has any weapons. Yeah. Good. Yeah. I'm glad. I'm glad we have moved past that. And then yeah. Uh, once that happens, the other side of the corridor that he's in, a bunch of other dwarfs like get there and they, they, they halt, you know, in dwarven, um, and then the guy that was initially talking to you goes, "I just back away from the weapons slowly, and we will see who you are with. Which one of you is Oradak?" And he replies to obviously Bastiel that way when Bastiel was like, "We're with Oradak." None of us, uh, and I'll say in common. To the rest of the party, uh, he gave you or that gave you a letter, didn't he? Uh, we're going to need to pr uh, produce, produce that. that. I'll like reach into my wee knapsack and just be like, like I've got the letter here. Who's take uh, reach Bastille? Who's taking it? I'll just grab it, hand it over. And switch back to Dwarven and say, there you go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the guy with the halberd sitting there and kind of like, you know, gestures to his men to like, bring up the formation so these are all surrounded. And then he sits and mm -hmm. reads the letter. And he sees like, brow furrow. And he looks at it and he says, you'll be taken to a holding room. Go peacefully. This would be my advice to you. And he just stares at you, Bastille. I probably uh, don't make an expression. I don't know if my face can even move <laughs> like that. Yeah. And the emoji face and you slip out. And he <laughs> thinks that you're the one that would cause trouble. Yeah. yeah. I was basically, we are very happy to go in peace. Yeah. Right. And common. They're asking us to go to yeah, a, a waiting room. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, are we? A, yeah. I'm like, are we actually at like a fucking train station or something? Or... Yeah. <laughs> Just thinking of the tickets, please, guy from Rick and Morty. Yeah, it's not quite tickets, please. Yet, also, I don't know. Hmm. I imagine Warforce can move their faces to some degree, right? Like, because I mean, if I if Ultron never got questioned why his face moves, like, I don't feel like I need to question a fantasy yeah. land, right? Yeah. Cade six. Right. So yeah, they yeah. can put sentence into a machine. I'm sure they could do a few wee hinges in a face. Yeah, right. You know, <laughs> right. Um, so yeah, I feel like you could, you know, do pretty much 
where everybody else can really do it. Maybe not like the completely fine motor movements on their face, but yeah, sure. Like I feel like okay. if, if you wanted to like express happiness, sadness, etc. Yeah, I don't see why not, right? Um, or like yeah, but get a Twitch. You just need display of WD forty or yeah, something like that. No, but yeah, yeah. That's... Is that <laughs> Wizard Dwarf forty? Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, uh... yeah, so we've got that right. You guys are then escorted by the the dwarf squad, um, and you are put into a big prison cell, obviously. Um, it is a big, completely sealed, completely dark a uh, stone box that you are put into. A big, massive stone cage. Um, and says, we will check this letter out and we will return. Please wait here. And then they close the door and seal it up. Does anyone know earthbending? <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh no, it's my other character. <laughs> Damn, that would be so useful right now. Uh, everybody sees in the dark, don't they? Here, right? Uh, I think everyone. Yeah, yes. yeah. Does. I think so. Yeah, yeah, it was it was the horses that couldn't see in the dark. Yeah, yeah. Or they still can. And we solved that problem <laughs> for all but one of them. Um, can I just run the side adventures of that one horse that got away? <laughs> uh, Spirit was his name. No uh, nightmare. <laughs> But yeah, so yeah, he's all in the dark now. A big dwarven stone box. Um, I'll sit to the. I'll be quite relaxed, expecting my dwarven people to to be chill about it and logical, and objectively the smartest race. I'm joking. Hmm. Uh, but I'll slump to the ground, cross my legs, and I'll look up at Arya and say, and I'll go through a couple words that just went by there. The key one. It's like how to say stop in dwarven and things like that and maybe the tone and what it kind of meant the way they said it and things like that depending on how the language works uh, oh. yeah i'd be paying a lot of attention to that and mm -hmm. probably like repeating some of the words back to you and like can i just pause you just now pronouncing Let things pause right you guys just now scott you shouldn't have are you sure you're in the right crumber character sheet yep so it was still in my inventory, it just wasn't showing up as a weapon. What does it say the top of your character sheet at the moment? Crumbar Denebic. Is that it? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, like, so it wasn't on my, it wasn't on my red text, or it wasn't in my... Like a tax um, part? My tax, but you know, just in like my general item, with a bit where it's like item names right, okay. and my money, it was still in there, so I've just removed it to that. Ah, right, no worries. So maybe just, I've maybe forgot to get rid of it from there. Yeah, no worries. Yeah. Just I have you duplicated your character sheet because of the. Um, I wanted to keep a note of like just the fact that I made a big change to it, obviously. So, yeah, a bit of a schizophrenic. He's got multiple characters. He actually has about <laughs> four character sheets on here. Uh, wow. I have. Yep, four character sheets. <laughs> okay. That's... Yeah. So yeah, that's yeah. my brain. That's just how many times he has thought he'd lose Crumbar. So just keep in mind, guys, when you're relying on his good decision making, he has four, mm. four potential backups to go through all the bad ideas. Uh, him. <laughs> but yes, meanwhile, in the dark. Sorry, Arya and Bastiel, right? Mm -hmm. Sorry, one, Conversating about what went down and how she can process the information and the words and stuff. That's it. How's are you dealing with that? So I'd be like just paying a lot of attention and kind of like repeating like the, the words right about mm -hmm. the various dwarven things or am I getting confused here? No, that's right. Yeah. So I'd kind of be like just listening and kind of repeating it back and just checking that I'm pronouncing things right and Maybe just asking a bit of question, kind of like, oh, does that word sound like that word, or is it just me? <laughs> yeah, and I'll go through and respond. Just take chill out here, chat casually about it. I think um, well, okay. used to like. No, nope, before we move right. on from that, Sorry. I if you want to actually start trying to exchange stuff. Uh, if that's the conversation we're having, do you want to give me a performance check, Bastiel, and we'll have you do a... It's not an arcana thing, because it's not like a magical language, so a 
don't really know what you're gonna roll to learn the language. <laughs> are you? Intelligence? Yeah, but it's dumb just doing a blank intelligence save. I feel like there should be a skill um, for it. Anyway. Was that a stone? Oh yeah, uh, yeah, just use that skill. Yeah, yeah. Shut up, Cooper. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, confused me there. Yeah. Mm, no, cause it's not really insight. I think it might just so have you to, want be... to just do an intelligence check, did you say? Yeah, you need to fix your always set to advantage problem there, Sean. Um, Shit, I, I literally have that in another campaign. It's not an intelligence save you're doing, it's just an intelligence roll. Oh, okay. I did ask and I was... You did and I never answered, okay. so I don't know why you, you're old. Oh, <laughs> my bad. Um, I thought I heard a... Hmm, like a positive... Hmm. Nope. Man, that's um, three people talking like to a, me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, My so hmm I... was probably just judging Shan for his <laughs> ever advantage. Oh, I mean, like, uh, yeah. it's a change from always uh, judging me. That still goes on. Now. <laughs> that's just become a background skill. <laughs> like uh, or not. Why aren't you just clicking the button that says intelligence on your stats? That's all you need to do. Because it's so tiny, I didn't realize ah. it highlights if I. Yep, you got it, you got it. <laughs> yeah. So you want me to roll again, Dan? Yes, or... I want you to roll an intelligence oh, check. Yep, sure. we're still there. Sure, sure. There we go. Cool. Oh, okay. cool. nice. Yep, that's the I mean, one. I'm happy about that, don't get me wrong. So, yeah, I, I will mark off some progress towards a... The learning. Dwarfish. Yep, exactly. So I've pa I, I'm, I'm passing like Dwarvish 101. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, let me just you can a... ask where the library is. Let me just make a track of it. Nah, <laughs> it's don't even. It's, honestly. It's getting like fundamental in stuff. single language. It's not, mm. um, it's definitely not enough to even have a conversation yet. It's mostly just like, this is why it sounds My name is... like rocks falling. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, and like verb tenses, because everybody loves verb tenses, don't they? Um, <laughs> yep. I'm learning French now. I'm hating it. That horrible verb tenses, isn't it? I hated. I hated it when I learned it. Oh god, it was awful. Um, thankfully, I've unlearned most of it now. I, much to my despair. Okay, mm -hmm. so dwarven language <laughs> progress. And I'll give you a big tick so far. There you go. Big tick energy. There we go. <laughs> um, it's not bad, not bad. I, right, so while they're having a, a ramble in Dwarven, I, and currently Arya doesn't quite butcher the first attempts of it, which is good, um, what's everybody else doing in, in the dark cube of stone? Um, well, I was going to say, a, I think obviously since we're set, they're all kind of sitting in the dark, um, oh, here's worried. a question. Is everybody sitting in the dark? Don't just let Scott tell you what the reality is. You weigh in too. So, what, yeah, when Crumbar looks around, people. what's everybody doing? I'm probably feeling along the walls, trying to see if there's a, a breeze, mm -hmm. which would indicate a hole. Okay, I'll come back to you for your investigate check then, right? So we'll come back to that. Badass. Crumbar? I'm just... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, no, no, sorry, Reach. But, yeah, you were saying. I, you were oh, standing, yeah, okay. I'm just happy sitting here cross legged, waiting as well. Yep, That's cool. Kind of like the meditative patient. monk pose that you have. Yeah, yep, exactly. cool. And Arya and Bastille are sitting just chatting to each other as well. Yeah, cool. Yeah. yeah. So, everybody so, but Kitty is sitting. Mm -hmm. um, and I know obviously everyone can see in the dark, but uh, after, you know, last session, Crumbar has had enough time sitting in the dark. Mm. So. Um, it would kind of interrupt Bastille, so I'll be like, um, Bastille, mm -hmm. could you please uh, give us some light in this room? <laughs> oh, of course. Uh, I, actually, oh wait, no, the sword's gone. Sorry. Yeah, and I'll produce the drift club. That yeah, the drift club thing is what. So I yeah, all your all your all your backpacks would have been taken off, you guys. By the way, like you're not being put in to like a room. Mm -hmm. Without, like, with just oh. a, a bag of mystery stuff. Wow. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh right, I thought that was just—I thought that was a spell that you used. No, it was an item. Oh right. Okay. Uh, you want to change your chat then, Sam? Then yeah, I'll I'll look down and reach for the drift globe and say, ah. Now. 
It's with your sword. Don't mm -hmm. worry. The dwarves have got our back. And just be like, hmm. I just let's just hope they come back soon then and then I'll just kinda slump down and sit in silence for now. Rough time in the dark, huh? What did you see when you were out cold? Saw nothing. I was out cold. <laughs> yeah. Some way. Some way. You seem different. I think as you say that, I've just kinda like not turn my back to you, but you can clearly see that I'm not really paying it, like clearly avoiding the conversation and just being like, "Yep, you did not ask me that." I'm just gonna look at this wall, uh, like Pro well. probably probably look at Kitty, just being like, "Yep, she's doing Kitty things." Out of the corner of your eye as well, Crumber. You you also see Erma sitting with his knees up to his chin, with his back against like the the what wall the in the dark. <laughs> Hereditary. For real? I mean, when you say for real, I don't know how to answer that because we're in an No, I mean, like, are you, are you, so is, like, is, 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 Ryan, is Ryan trolling me or is this actually happening? I've just said, Crumbar sees this out of the corner of his eye. <laughs> I will, you know, jump up and just be like, Eremos, and just kind of like go towards it. Nah, like, as soon as you like regard it and look at it, it's gone. Oh. I'll just kind of stand there looking at where I thought it was. So, for everybody else, Crumbar stands up and just says, Eremos? Oh, no, no, it's like proper, like... Eremos! Excitement, kind of like, Eremos? Oh, like... <laughs> <laughs> just a what bit about the shell for you guys. Um, Your eyes playing tricks in you in the dark, are they? Must just be the hangover. <laughs> Uh, Which yeah. one? <laughs> that is the question, old friend. Hang over that three, probably. is the question. <laughs> um, I'll then just kind of lie down and close my eyes and just be like, I'm going to sleep. Twice. I'm going to make a mental note that he might have some kind of metal poisoning or something related <laughs> to hallucination. Okay, yeah. I mean... Your current experience of uh, Crumper is he tried to attack you instantaneously when me meeting you, then tried to attack <laughs> the I've group, and then KO'd, and his axe became a sword. <laughs> I am currently tripping Crumballs. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the less said about Crumballs, the better. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, um, yeah, Kitty, you like start like looking around the room. Uh, investigating the walls and such, but uh, it seems like perfect stone. Like the door is gone. It's yeah, like all it's just stone. that flush with it. Mm -hmm. it's, you don't even see a crease. Yep. So no. yeah. So it does make picking a non-existent lock really difficult. I am, um, mm. but yeah. So I don't think I was like trying to escape. I just like to know there's a, an escape route. Yeah, no, I, I'm not saying you were trying to escape. I'm just letting you know that, like, yeah, there's there's not even a door anymore. Um, Damn. It's just stone everywhere. So that's what you find when you're kind of like doing your rounds of the walls. But you can breathe fine in here, right? Like it's not like it's um, you know, slowly fading to darkness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Because um, the darkness was already here. Um, exactly. Yeah. The speed of dark. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so are you doing anything? Because you've got some time to kill. Well, they babble uh, dwarvish, I guess. Uh, if if it's like if we're here for so long that the dwarven conversation kind of ties itself out, I'll, I'll ask... Um, to, to learn the same words in Infernal. Yeah, it's not long enough. To... Not long enough to do it in no. a turn. Yep, the the time would be okay. use trying to get the basics imparted over. Okay. Um, like okay. it's basically about an hour, give or take. Um, oh, okay. Oh, sure. So yeah, and yeah, I mean, I guess like for MD that wanted to, you could do a short rest yeah. if MD had anything they cared about. To to short rest that is. Um, 
Nothing. Yeah, I I think Crumbar would have taken like I don't really benefit from one, but narratively, I think I would take a short rest because let's face <laughs> it, I'm probably still fucked. <laughs> And then silence. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Just waiting on seeing what everybody else is up to. Yeah, I don't need one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so great, you're just gonna sit in a room with a snoring orc. <laughs> I mean that's fair enough, right? You know? Why not? <laughs> Flame Why you. Not? Now, based on that then, you've got like the light appears in like a door frame and then the kind of stone peels away and there is a kind of dwarf guy standing there. He looks slightly less armoured than well clearly could have been soldiers before. Uh, he's still got quite a lot of armour plating on him but his face and all that is exposed and he's kind of standing there and he's got some kind of fancy like fabrics to his outfit and he stands and he kind of like, like twitches his like moustache that feeds into his beard. And he says, <laughs> first in Dwarven. He's like, do you speak Dwarven? And then he says in common, or is the common tongue preferred? Uh, common tongue's preferred. Some of us do speak Dwarven. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He kind of nods so slowly. Say that, but yeah. yeah, like he just kind of like nods slowly to you. And he's like, good enough. And as you have noticed, I'm not doing the god awful accent. The dwarf should have. No. <laughs> oh, man. Aww. It's terrible, so I'm not doing it because I would just lose it laughing on this side. So, Good uh, work. It's about 90 <laughs> subscribers are going, thank God. I know, right? <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> and a whole country not being offended. Um, but yeah, so he kind of looks at you and he says, User here on behalf. Of Oradak Dorath. Okay, it says into the, the chamber. He looks silhouetted as fuck, right? That's probably the only the way to describe it. What do you. Like, we're not here on his behalf, but we're here with his. Uh, approval? That's not approval, though. It's. Uh, blessing. Blessing, yeah, yeah, blessing. We're here with Oradak's blessing, but we're actually here on the Golden Orders. Uh, request. Uh, we're here on golden orders. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Great gold one. It's a request. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ouch. Uh, sorry. So, can you tell me what you say to him specifically? Sorry. Yeah. Uh, we're here with Oradak's blessings, uh, but it's with the Great Golden Orders. Uh, Great Golden Worms orders that we're here. Okay, like. He has like an interested look in his face, like a, hmm, really, you know, hmm, interesting. I kind of looks, it crosses his face and he says, Why were you in the library? Yeah, you might have a problem there, by the way. Uh, we found a key on a dark elf that led us in there. I see. An this... ex dark elf. elf. Yeah, and he, like he kind of goes, "You killed this dark elf, did you? To take this key?" In defence, yes. Why, of course. Drought's come. Yeah, no. and, he, <laughs> and he looks over at you and kind of raises an eyebrow. Diplomatic answer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he says, um, "Go back to the the room." And you entered Forge on this premise? We didn't actually even realise it was Forge, but with the magic corridor we guessed it might have been. <laughs> really? I thought it was the uh, Dwarven Library that gave it away. Well, that's, yeah, it's a small hint. On your feet, everyone, and follow me. And then he turns and walks out, and just a big kind of delight bleeding in from outside. Um, Isn't Kena standing up 
um, brushing myself off or be like, there's something else that you should know. The uh, the cave in from where we came in, the, there was some kind of ritual going on and some dark elf raised something out of a sarcophagus. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? And uh, the guy outside the room kind of like comes back into view of the doorway and says, I'm sure you can explain yourself fully, but this is not the time. I wasn't trying to explain, just give warning, but please lead the way. And then he walks off. Uh, everybody up and following? Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Kitty? I did, I did say, mm-hmm. De like. Definitely <laughs> heard nothing. I didn't even see the green light. Um, um. But uh, yeah, cool. So everything gets up, heads off. Uh, the big stone door thing just seals itself back up when you leave. And you have an escort of about ten dwarven guards around you. Uh, and yeah. You can still take them. Probably, <laughs> right? Like. I'm in. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it does make his look somewhat fancy. Uh, he's are escorted through like, you know, various, oh. various places. Ignore the rando in the middle, um, <laughs> but like, but like, yeah, he's mm -hmm. end up in this what can only be described as some big giant glorious machine of archways, um, and cross corridors and such. Holy Christ. Health and safety is not really a big thing, is it? <laughs> no, not at all. Um, and the place is like, unlike the picture here, but the place is super busy, right? Like loads of people walking around doing their their own stuff. I, all dwarfs, obviously. Um, it is distinctly mono race here. Um, I was thinking that so we can see everything over their sh heads. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Everybody that's taller than the dwarfs. Yep. Yeah. Um, so I'm just walking like with my head scraping against the wall. No, no. Like there's no like there's no like a like the, the place is huge, right? The proportions of it. Um, you could be twice the height and still not like touch the ceiling. Ah, right. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> when I said it was dwarven, I meant it was dwarven. You know. <laughs> um. Fear me and my great halls. Yeah, right. You know. And I'm actually kind of just waiting on. That's kind of like my second browser is deciding not to actually render the image fully. Because it's a really pretty image. Um, so. Prince of Persia. Yeah. Folks at home, just pretend it's nicer. Because um, it definitely is nicer on my screen. Hey! Oh. That is badass. Right? Yeah. And yeah, as, as Stu discovered, it is from uh, Prince of Persia. Um, but it, it looked exactly what I kind of wanted Forge to look like, quite frankly. Um, mm -hmm. Which is good enough. Uh, sadly, that trick of zooming in and zooming out is not working on my other mother. <laughs> Give me two seconds, I'm going to see if I can fix it. I had to do quite a bit last time. It was the first time it was quick and easy. Mm -hmm. Title for six tip. <laughs> Let me just refresh the one I'm recording and we'll see what happens. <laughs> it never lets me back in. No. I'll let that load up for a wee bit. Well, sorry folks, you just have to deal with low res. Oh well. So, yeah, you are led through... Now oh, there we go, this loads up now, good. Uh, you have been led through... A, it kind of seems like miles of this place, right? Up certain parts of it, down other parts of it. You get like a bunch of random stairs, like dwarven children kind of look and all on at you guys. Um, yeah, 
because obviously is it like, a bunch of strangers. Is it like that scene from the labyrinth where the stairs are like upside down and everything? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it looks that way, but you can just tell it's the underside of stairs. It's not, in fact, an upside down staircase. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, there is no Goblin King here. And uh, oh. yeah, I get sued by Bowie's ghost, so no thanks. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so use travel for a bit. And yeah, it's probably a good maybe half an hour, right, of traveling. So quite extensive. It's very warm in here as well, as you could probably guess. Um, place does seem lit somewhat by the lava flows everywhere. Um, everything looks like it has just been carved into a mountain. Um, and mm -hmm. then you approach a big gate. And here we go. We go through the loading oh. process again. I was going to say, would we? Are we walking around one of those giant centerpieces, like was in the picture, with the you know the big gears with the all the glowing and stuff? Like everything's leading, converging into that one hub. Because they're a giant thing. Nope. You're just, as I said, you walk for miles throughout various corridors and like tunnels and overlapping streets, and it just seems like there's a whole civilization at work here. Okay, it's not built around one, like, power core. No. That, there doesn't seem to be anything visibly centralised that you can see. Okay. Okay, yeah. I just would have definitely commented on that if that existed, but yeah. No. But, I mean, the lava's <laughs> coming from somewhere, right? Yeah. yeah. So there is that. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see if I can get my... My connection must be garbage just now. I think it is, so zoom right in and leave for a wee minute. That's what I had to do. Mm. Took longer than what I thought. I'll do that on one and I'll just refresh the other and zoom out. And we'll see what one gets there quicker. It's the downside of having to run the game twice. Twice. Yeah. The joys. But one of my Chrome Canaries actually been garbage recently. And I don't know if it has just something that's on my Chrome. It's like an extension or if or it has just the yeah. Invisible, Same it? actually, it might be that. Who knows? But I mean I like the, the heat blur that I'm getting, you know, from this <laughs> currently. Um <laughs> but yeah, he's approached this big blurry gate that for some reason is really hard to see because of all the heat. And uh <laughs> who, who, I don't know, I'm working with what I got, right? And then uh, <laughs> Yeah, you're a uh, you're led up to like the bottom of the stairs where all like the guards kind of like take their sides um, and kind of like give you guys slightly more breathing room at this point. And uh, the kind of guy who looks in charge turns around and he says, "I would take some brief moments to collect yourselves." And he kind of looks over everybody. I am. You're about to meet the king. And he kind of mm -hmm. just stands there, like with his kind of like hands crossed. And he's basically saying, "Tidy yourselves up." Is the gist? Wow. Well, it is to be expected, I guess. <laughs> How much of that we can actually do, considering? Well, we don't have any anyway. possessions. <laughs> yeah. Straighten my clothes, that's mm -hmm. all. That's... Yep. That's, else that's basically the most we can do. That's what I'm saying. None of yeah. us has stuff like prison agitation to suddenly make ourselves. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Just see Cromber Cron yeah. just kind of like brushes his shoulders and is like, yep, done. Yeah, like yeah, that's, that's it. Good yep. <laughs> and Dell's doing anything similar? And so we've got Reach straightens his robes. We've got Cromber dust off his shoulders. Probably yeah, I'll just Aria, you. like runs a hand through her hair. <laughs> yeah, I'll kind of massage and, and peel and pry at any kind of chipped pieces of metal from where people have repeatedly tried to stab me or something. <laughs> Try and smooth it out. Aww. Okay. Yeah, just like dust off clothing, shake the cloak out a bit, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> the whole kind of like, like beating the rug type thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, suddenly a, a knife falls out. <laughs> Kicks it's it over the edge. <laughs> Pardon me. 
I love the idea that like one of the guards looks over and she just goes like, "That was you." <laughs> <laughs> you dropped your knife. <laughs> Got a picture of her carved into it. Is it um, mine? Um, <laughs> it's got like kit lift crudely <laughs> straight into it. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, I can't get this oh. image to load. Has MD got this image to load properly? Yeah, we'll yeah. do that like in two seconds. Right. Yeah, it definitely is my. Yeah, it looks fantastic. Now. Thank you. I'm really glad you are appreciating the art. I can't show anyone else. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. But everyone can enjoy this but me. On the plus side, it's. You know what? It's fine. It's, it's... I mean, at least you know how it should look, right? So. I know how it should look, yeah. Um, I have <laughs> the official image. Poor, uh, poor Sean. Can't see it. Um, <laughs> it's just that your goggles of night vision have all steamed up a bit. That's all it is. Um, because yeah. of the heat. Uh, so sorry, buddy. Science. I'll just refresh one last time and we'll see. Um, <laughs> and we have this nice montage of everybody getting themselves less disheveled. But yes, yeah, so you are all kind of there, you get yourselves assembled, and he kind of like looks you over one more time. He says, It will have to do. Time being limited and all. You will all speak when spoken to. Is this understood? And he looks over everybody. Yes, sir. I nod oh. my head. Yes, nod as well. Thumbs up. <laughs> and he says, You are speaking with Dwarven royalty, after all. And then he kind of turns and then Aragorn's his way through the big gates, obviously, because he's a badass. And nobody open, opens doors for dwarves, they do it themselves because that's the point. Right, the cultural things, you know. So, mm -hmm. yeah, so you're led in uh, to this other room, and it's probably kind of hard to see at first, right, because of how crazily bright it is in the room. Ow! <laughs> yeah, see when you change my yeah, screen, right? flashlight. <laughs> oh, dude! Somebody's got dragon fever. So. Dragon sickness, yeah. Dragon sickness, <laughs> that one. We've got a headache, leave me alone. <laughs> and that's definitely there, right? The, the font of light in the middle. Uh, that is where the Dwarf King is sitting. Okay. In that seat. In a big seat, right in the middle of a massive, huge place full of gold that hopefully will render at some point for people. Um, well, somebody's making up for something. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see yeah. that? No. Probably then... four foot five tall. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say to myself, like, how's he shinier than me? <laughs> Have you pulled that one off? Man, that's so lame. This isn't loading. God damn this connection. Uh... Two seconds, guys, to push a button. And we'll see what happens when I push this button. Nope, don't understand why. The speed's completely fine. Mm. So you're just getting blurry pictures on your end. Yeah, it's like, obviously I run the game twice, but I don't know if it's just because mm. Chrome Canary has been garbage. I just thought I'd that. troll you and hit you up with a DOS attack. <laughs> that's what it is. I've just been I'm, I'm too famous now on YouTube. That's what it is. I got my hundred subscribers plus, and that's it. Like now, now I'm a target. On yep. Hacks. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we'll just have to deal with the, the slightly blurry, beautifully gold land. Uh, my main one has rendered great. The one I don't really need has rendered, uh, but the one for the folks at home. Well, here's open. But yeah, so in the middle, there are not two weird people in the middle. There is, in fact, one big throne chair uh, with a big dwarven dude on it. And yeah, the kind of escort, as it were, guy that you're with, he you know, just stands to the side and he says, You may approach. And then you're led up. Obviously, you've got the, the big paths in front of you that you can walk. Good, it's rendered now finally. Um, mm. 
Yeah. Definitely woke up with confidence. Mm -hmm. Yep. Whatever it is. I'll just kind of... <laughs> probably because I don't speak Dwarven, I've probably like hang back a wee bit. But yeah, I'll still walk up. Okay. I know we're, I know they're speaking common, but you know, still. Yeah. Mm. And everybody else following suit. Yeah, yeah. Well, was Kitty thinking about all this treasure on the floor? Try not to think about it. <laughs> <laughs> but I got that. It's really hard not to think about it because. Yeah. Like no shiny all... things on my floor. There's no shiny things on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> looking at the ceiling. <laughs> like it almost sings. It's that shiny, right? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Right of the starlight. Because that's what I need, Scott. I need more people sending my connection stuff to load. Yay! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah. So yeah, use approach. I. To get everything like lines up, I guess, the dwarf king. Uh, those mm -hmm. those steps. If we just alter the scale of the image ever so slightly, um, the steps are wide enough for all of you to stand side by side. Oh, okay. Cool. Uh, just to slightly alter that, and then there's like a massive kind of crystal throne thing in the middle, and I will show you that in a second because, boom, show it to everyone. There we are. Oh, that's awesome. And then whenever this decides Whoa. to load. Oh, I can't Damn. dial up with its loading chunk by chunk. It is actually doing that on the recording <laughs> that you can go back and enjoy currently now yeah. in this part of the video. Um, <laughs> and while we're at it, Patreon. Yeah, so What's while we're here nice taking this break. Stone. Yep. It's not though, it's a gemstone. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, well, while well, we're here, like, get... subscribe, share with your friends, join my Patreon, give me money, please, and uh, support oh. the nonsense. Like my Perform. connection. Help my Form a blood sacrifice. <laughs> yeah. Help this man's got third world Wi Fi. Yeah. Oh, All is, right. Bizarrely, it isn't even. Like, it's everything else. It's working yeah, fine. It's going okay. It's yeah. just, there's something going on with my computer. I don't know what it is, which is upsetting. But here we are. Uh, but hopefully, can you see him yet? Have you got him on the screens? Yeah. Yep. Like, is he, is, yep, he, yep, yep. is he fully armed and operational? Um, yeah, so he sat there with his pipe on his crazy looking throne. And, uh, At least there's nothing flammable about it. Made of gold. It's all gold and stone. Yeah. I mean, that beard looks quite flammable. <laughs> well, yeah. I doubt he uses hairspray. Uh. And he sits, and uh, he's just like, as you're kind of like, he's approaching, kind of stop. Do you go to the bottom of the stairs? Do you climb to the top of the stairs? Like, what's the... What do you do? Uh, climb a few steps up, but not at the top. Okay. <clears throat> Get as I'll... close as I can before someone stops me. Hey, there's only him. There's there's no guards in here. Holy shit. Yeah, 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 yeah I'll go right up to him. Well, I'll stay about, like, 10, 15 feet away. 15 feet. Yeah, so as soon as you get to the top hey. of the stairs, he, uh, he puts a hand up, and he says... In Dwarven. He says, I think that's quite far enough. <laughs> You're a clean freak. And then he kind of just so puffs a bit more on his uh, pipe. Yeah, social distancing and all that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I really want to go into Scottish accents when I do this, do you know that? Because of dwarves, I hate it so much. Yeah, as opposed to the accent you've got at the moment. Yes, indeed. My, yeah. My, yeah, my extra Scottish one, my dwarven Scottish. Yeah. That's close enough, don't you think? You know, that one versus, you know, that god awful, like, nightmarish one. I can't even do it anymore. It's that bad. Like, it's so bad. I've unlearned it. It's an one. Ooh, yeah, it was. <laughs> don't you think that's far enough? <laughs> it's so god awful. But yeah. How many people can write an offend in one session? Yeah. <laughs> Mostly yeah. myself, but yeah. <laughs> so he sat there and he says that, and uh, what does Best Elder do? Um, yeah, if we're not kicking off a dialogue properly, I'll just I'll nod at him and I'll look down at the others and say, well, come on. Do you say yeah. that in Dwarven or Common to them? Uh, common. He'll then switch from Dwarven and he'll say, 
in common to you, Bastille? Do you not speak Dwarven? Uh, and I look at him and I say, why, of course, in Dwarven. Um, and he just, you don't recognise me? He nods and he puffs away. Hmm. And then he kind of like raises an eyebrow. And then as he speaks, he just blows out all the smoke. And he says, should I recognise you? <laughs> that may be a story for another time. You see, we're in a rush here. Yes, and you're wasting my time. He takes a right. puff. Friends. My friends have more information on this than I do. And why are you talk. speaking? <laughs> what do you mean, why am I speaking? Uh, okay, that's Sean. Uh, let's see. What would Bastille say to that? Uh, da, 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 da. I mean, this is your king, buddy. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll say. Yeah. Uh, my, my friends are uh, new to Dwarven custom. And they, what's the word? Uh, cautious. They're cautious and they don't know how to act. So I decided to lead the way for them. Maybe it's at this point that you notice that there is like a massive gold warhammer next to him as well. Whoa. Yeah. How, how massive? <laughs> I will show you how massive in about 20 years when I can uh, facilitate sending you <laughs> such a thing. Uh, um, That's like, like the Warhammer of the Emperor or something? No, 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 no. I'll, I'll do what I can to make this happen, but you oh, just accept yes. that the game must go on until then. Uh, I'll get an image of this. So cool. uh, I'm just imagining this being like way bigger than anyone could lift. You know, magically smack me with it. What's the... um? Everyday Austin, then. I, obviously, those uh, that can hear or like understand Dwarven. Understand I would pipe that. in and say uh, not all of our party speaks Dwarven. I would say that in Dwarven. Mm -hmm. So if you if you don't mind common, would be better uh, for everyone. That's, uh, and I'll stand beside Bastille as I'm saying this. I just so just yeah, there. It's there, and that is someone holding it. Wow, I love how it leaves an imprint of a oh. mountain on your face. <laughs> yeah, so that's just like standing next to him. Whoa. I'll, uh, yeah, um, I think. Um, da, da, da. Yeah, so I. It's I'm also standing kinda... that way up, just so you know. Like freestanding? Yeah. Mm. Damn. Um. When you swap a sword for it, <laughs> <laughs> mate, I just got yeah. this. It's not. It's, it's basically brand new, you know, like new. Uh, I think it's called. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So I just kind of walk up behind uh, reaching Bastille, and um, would I notice the hammer as well? Yeah, it's really hard not to see it, right? Because uh, just... <laughs> I, I, I literally, I'd be like, I. would like look at them and be like, hmm. Cool hammer, bro. <laughs> yeah, it's like that's some fine weaponry you have there. Oh boy. And mm -hmm. I just like, and I was just grinning like, hmm. Blush. I, uh, or just be a. And and, and 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 orcish or just be a. Uh, I'll 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 say, uh, a great weapon can well. Will crush many enemies. And then in Orcish, you hear back, and thunder will fall from the mountains. I will grin and give him like a half bow. He kind of like nods and, 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 puffs and back at his, in uh, pipe. And back in Orcish, I will say thank you for uh, thank you for greeting uh, thank you for meeting with us. You aren't very fond of um, brevity. He looks at the group. You may speak. Oh yes. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know what that word means. <laughs> <laughs> and he just sits there with his pipe. Oh, uh, um, I don't know right. the whole Ordak story. <laughs> Lots. Yeah. You don't right, okay. Uh, 
we right. oh, I'm actually struggling to know exactly what's happening, but <laughs> we're, on, we're on a mission from the Great Golden Order to get talk to the Red Dragon. Just tell me exactly what's happening. Uh, we've got the blessings of Oradak to uh, come through uh, your your glorious kingdom. And we would like to also ask for your aid. The Golden Order would like to ask for your aid in a battle, in, in a war that's happening. How much of that is said with the air of glorious kingdom? Right? Yeah, <laughs> is, I want to just, yeah, I'm talking like, to the king, so, so yeah, what I mean I'm is, impressed but with are, what I've seen. Are you impressed or are you trying to make him think you're impressed? Because those are no. very different. I, 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 I am impressed. Okay. I, yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, I mean, I spent, guys sitting in a room full of gold. How could you not be impressed? Yeah. Yeah. I spent what twenty years in a room with eight doors, and that was all. So uh, this is you spent impressive. eight years in that room, yeah, and it had like nothing but like eight doors that you couldn't walk through. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yep. Um. But yeah, uh, and he just he sits there and he kind of like nods and says, "You know, Oradak Dorath." And he kind of just narrows his eyes. Yeah. Uh, we've met and yes uh, he we gained his trust yeah hmm. you know him well yeah. kind of looks between everything again he, and he trusted us uh, that was a good way better way of saying it and he kind of like slowly nods and what trouble is the golden citadel having that the dwarves can assist with uh, the Abyss has opened up and there's evil creatures uh, coming a constant horde of evil creatures coming out of it. Plus also though there's uh, portals opening up across the world uh, and these creatures are coming through them as well. So they are he coughs because he's inhaling smoke and um, it kind of breaks your conversation a bit and uh, he kind of like clears his throat a bit and uh, he says, Yes, but enough of these evil dark elves. And he kind of like chuckles to himself once. Tell me of this abyss. And what he's doing is he's basically saying that when you're saying, Yes, the abyss is open and evil creatures are coming everywhere. And he's saying, Yeah, dark elves are bad. Dark elves. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. I, I mean, uh, we dealt with umpteen dark elves, whereas these fey creatures are a lot tougher. Uh, yeah, damn, yeah. <laughs> That's what I think. Yeah, I was going to say, do you want to rewind a tiny bit there? Like, uh, yeah, did you say I'm fey fine, creatures? I didn't say fey, I was actually thinking fey, so I might have said fey accidentally there, but I meant evil. I heard fey creatures, but, uh, so unless I've got telepathy. Yeah, right. um, right. Is that bad internet? So but things. telepathy, I'll take that. They are kind of fair though, aren't they? But it's a it's a bad fair. What, what are you I'm talking about? Thinking of them like as what? The, the abysmal creatures. Uh, no, they just be like what fiends or demons or something, right? Aberrations and shit. Fiends. Yeah. Right. So yeah, you'd probably right. just think of them as demons. Right, right. These demons are infecting people, and and they're yeah, and they've. Last uh, when we left the ab- abyss, uh, we had to leave a, a son of a god fighting them. Uh, we were ordered by a son of a god to leave him uh, and try and go get some help. Uh, and which god does this son belong to? Yeah, the great gold worm. His eyes go slightly wide at that. Not quite. And he's like, yeah, may not be really any sons. Like, the great gold worm has a child. Uh, he definitely had a child. We're not sure. <laughs> wow, alive. that got dark. <laughs> yes. Oh God. <laughs> yeah. How very interesting. This is indeed news to me. Uh oh, maybe we shouldn't have said that. <laughs> yeah, I know we'll say that. I'll still, I'm trying to explain exactly how. Yeah, he's, is, he's, so. yeah. He's, like, to be fair, Reacher's doing his best to be like, it's really bad. It's like an yeah. eleven on the bad scale. Yeah. 
if we and choose the, the bad scale reference. only goes up to seven. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we had to draw the rest in crayon. Crayon! <laughs> um, but yeah, so he sits there and he kind of like puffs away on his pipe and he's like if this godling cannot stem the tide what do you make of the dwarves? The dwarves are an extremely tough people, a tough warrior race, and that's exactly what we need. Uh, Glorious machinations. Yeah. So I am fodder for your war with this abyss. Only if I'm fodder as well, which I don't believe so. Uh, so. He kind of chuckles himself, and he's like, do you know how far from the abyss we are currently? And you are here asking (laughs) for me. I'll just kind of step up, um, kind of like brush past Reach, um, and I'll just say to him, he's like, yes, you're far from the the breach now, but if we fail there, it won't be long till the breach reaches here. Yeah, good point. It's better we all fight as one. And die individually. <laughs> Damn, Edgelord. Do, do, do. To be fair, like, like Reach has got a lot of experience with that. <laughs> with dying? <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> In fact, sorry, sorry, just re- rewinding over the past, like, what, 48 sessions? Mm-hmm. Yep, yeah, you do. Yeah, 100%, <laughs> yep. And that's only in this game. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so he, he kind of sits there and he says, Your words have weight and meaning. I cannot exactly just commit myself to the other side of the world on the word of strangers now, can I? Get it, show them the ashes. (laughs) Definitely understand. uh, I'll say, um, like... We've got a thing of authenticity. we We don't need... Uh, first, of, well, I'll say first of all, my lord, and you're certain the dwarves have never had dealings with the infernals. And I'll look at him and think about what's inside of me right now. Yeah, and he just says, "You're there, elf." Yeah. You mention authenticity. Hmm. He um, chokes on his like pipe again. <laughs> He's like Pruh. manners. I am impressed. <laughs> it's like, such a, a delayed thing of like yeah, uh, yeah, Hannah, sir. yes. <laughs> yeah, and I think like <laughs> again, it is like as comical as him coughing at that. Then like what, what? manners? For <laughs> elf sharing me manners. What is I like that you have a dwarf voice as well. That makes me happier. <laughs> it's just like a really posh British person. <laughs> um, anyway. Who's um, um, angry at cricket. It's very God Brian Blessed. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, it's so Brian Blessed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. But um, yeah, can imagine him using dwarves for the wickets, by the way, so it's mm. probably not a good thing to <laughs> cricket. But, yeah. <laughs> oh God. Oh my god, that would be such an elf thing to do. Yep. Um, to learn to be very careful when I drink when we're mm, playing. Yeah, it's dangerous. <laughs> you just have to deafen yourself when drinking for safety and then come back. Uh, but yes, so yeah, back in uh, the moment, he coughs and he's like, Prah, manners from an elf. Huh. And the hut isn't just like, dis- <laughs> it's not dismissive, the hut, it's kind of like he's impressed. <laughs> it's like they have learned to overcome things. Wow. Um, anyway. <laughs> Yes, we have uh, some demon ash here with a letter of authenticity um, to prove that it is actually demons. Yeah. Approach. Oh. I don't know why my character went all sort of posh there. <laughs> <laughs> it's her. I'm, I'm dealing with royalty. <laughs> okay, uh, I don't know I'm why fine. I call it royalty, but it is now royalty every time I say royalty. <laughs> I don't think Kitty was in at the wine as well. And then, um, yeah, and he says to you, approach. Slowly make my way up, like unsure at first, but then obviously is is looking impatient by my slow approach. So I just sort of haste, like <laughs> okay, <laughs> and like 
don't quite get to the top of the stairs. I just sort of place it as soon as I'm able to place something. Remember, your stuff's like... not with you. You what? Remember, you don't have any of your stuff. Oh, oh my yeah. god. Your guards have it. Yeah. In a cloak. It's not a weapon. I, yeah, if you, again, remember that if you're wanting to detach anything, he says, uh, your things will be brought to you momentarily. And then, uh, like, there's a, a big kind of, like, <laughs> off in the distance, there's, like, the doors opening, the big kind of creak of the big doors moving open. And then, I think, maybe everybody turns and looks to, like, the left and down this massive, like, raised uh, stone archway, this dwarf just takes, like, the longest time. I was thinking that butler yeah. from an ancient butler. Yeah, <laughs> and it's like carrying stuff, and it's just the slowest. And it's just because it's a far way to go, right? And eventually, after like five minutes, he gets there, and he's like, and he's like, and kind of like kneels, um, just at the top of the stairs. He doesn't ever get off the top step, and he just sits the stuff down, and it's like a kind of almost a stone tree, and he sits it down, and he kind of just like kneels and waits there. You may go. He's got Kitty's stuff on yes. a stone tree. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> it's a big That's stone a tree. Boy. That's and then, I'll look at it going. Shouldn't there be like three more of these? <laughs> emotions to your pile of stuff. And he says, um, You may present this to me. <laughs> so, like, rooting in my bag, pulling things out, like, just sort of bouncing off down the stairs, like, oh, I needed that. Mm. <laughs> Maybe not that just yet, but... <laughs> sort of, like, <laughs> pull out the... the What did I use? A freaking bolt case. It was a bolt case, a yeah. Bolt case. yeah. <laughs> like, bolt case out, um, and then digging around for the, the letter, which mm. I don't think... Did I actually even get the letter? Yeah, it was you because it was your case. You got that, and it was Crumbar because he gave up the jug. He got the here's the introduction letter. Yeah. I just didn't put it in my inventory. I don't think. This is why we do that. Point. We didn't so much as gain his trust as buy his trust. Yeah, right. Yeah. He literally gave off a god jug. Details. <laughs> yeah, mm. I, uh, I, I obviously pulled these two things out like. Mm -hmm slide them over to him like there you go your highness and I can get a servant person to come and pick it up off the floor and uh so like do you like just take the case and stuff over to him yeah yeah just so, like push it over as far as I can get it <laughs> and he um like you can emotions for you to like approach it as well bring it to me oh okay then so awkwardly like and he does that thing off. where he's got his pipe in one hand and he kind of leans forward on his throne and puts his hand out like when you're trying to hand you know an elderly relative, something, and they decide they ain't getting up for it. Is that <laughs> yeah. Yep. Um, and in the bolt case, the letter first. Uh, letter first. And then he, he takes the letter and he unfurls it. Magical seal vanishes. And then he, he reads through it and he just starts like muttering to himself, like puffing on his pipe. And he just looks somewhat like deep in thought, slash disappointed or distracted. And then he rolls the scroll up a bit, just jams it in the side where he's, you know, the side between him and the chair. And he says, well, where is this demon ash? There. Show um, the box in, like, I've already taken the lid off. Yeah, so and I he takes it from you as well. I, he'll take that from you and he'll look at it and he'll just kind of look at it a bit. And then, like, somebody that doesn't know what they're actually looking at. And then, uh, mm, Yes, this is very interesting. He looks up at you and he says... And then he's like, side whisper, What is it? <laughs> he looks up at you and he says, Is it still active? I am not entirely sure. <laughs> I'll look at Arya, given that she's the demon, spe the infernal specialist. Or did that actually say yes, it it was basically it was dangerous so you could say yes ah. he look, so he looks at you Rich, and he says and you freely bring this into my kingdom you bring the demons here tell me why I shouldn't have you all arrested or a doubt did say if it, as long as we're careful it should be okay but it could be used to resurrect a, de a demon and kind of like his eyes go kind of wide at the 
who knows how many possibilities that have went through his head. And he says, <laughs> you may take this. And he just lifts the tray of ash up and kind of hands it back to you. Yeah, I breathe it in. Call the demon. I take it, Kitty takes it back. Yeah. Yeah. And he says, Okay, you have travelled a long way to get my attention, and you have met some rather interesting people. Why did you seek out Ordek Dorath to come to me and not a dwarf? And he looks around every day. Uh, was the first guy a dwarf, by the way, or was he? The noble? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He was a dwarf, yeah. I. Uh, actually, we we did scout for a dwarf, a uh, dwarf nobleman, uh, but he uh, put us on to Oradak to confirm that this was an actual fact, Demon Ash. It's not um, 100% true, though, is it? Um, is it not? Uh, oh, he didn't put us on to me. He asked us to find someone. Yeah, and, we went and, and that Oradak, led you to Oradak. So, because you know, like, yeah. it's not 100% true, but you could tell him that if you wanted. No. No, 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 I would rather yeah, stick with the truth. Yeah, there's no need to lie. So stick with. Oradak was wanting. Uh, sorry, uh, nobleman was wanting proof, and we found Oradak. He was able to provide the proof, but also he was able to provide this letter as well. Yeah. Okay, like nods, puffs a bit more in the pipe, and then kind of like looks at the pipe, and then looks at the box, and then kind of stops puffing on the pipe. And then he, he looks at the group and he says, And exactly what did you have in mind for help? I'd I say do. glorious invention, information, experimentation. What the dwarves do best. Every man, woman and child able to carry a weapon <laughs> as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. I mean, that would come in handy. You kind of just... We need technology. It was um, Bramrid Deepmain, by the way, that lord, if he's wanted to Thank name. you. That was yeah. okay. It's in, it's in the NPC list. Yeah. <laughs> but I, he, um, he sits there and he's like, so you would have me empty the halls of forage for this golden order? No, no. Sorry, Ryan, what did you say there? You kind of roboted a bit. Just yes. leave the, the halls of forge for the golden it order. says, would you have me empty the halls of forge for this golden order? And he does no. really stress the word golden. Yeah. <laughs> no, we would have you empty the halls of forge to protect forge and the rest of the world. Okay. If the golden order falls, everywhere will fall. Dwarves build things to last. Perhaps the Golden Order should have thought of this. Demons build things to destroy, no matter how strong your walls are. Yet that is if what you have come to the Dwarf King for. Things to destroy. Are you calling us demons? No. Good. <laughs> he, just, for he just says good. Things to protect. <laughs> <laughs> I will think oh. on this, for I will Golden. not risk dwarven lives for nothing. But if the threat is as you see, why is the head of the Golden Order not here making this request themselves? Mm. He... I was... <laughs> Do we know I he's fighting? We don't. We know he's... Yeah. You know yeah. where you left him about five or whatever months ago it was? Like... Yeah. 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 Uh, put it this way though, we are here also to try and gain uh, the help of the Red to fight this war as well. Is that what you said to him instead of his question? Yeah, yeah. So we're going to need to try and get some information about it, so yeah. And what makes you think the engine of destruction cares for your plight? At the because, moment, uh, like everything else in this king in this world, he probably enjoys living. 
He just, like, he smiles like he's obviously thought of something amusing, right? Yeah, it's not that funny a living or he's not alive, I don't know. But and yeah. then uh, yeah. he just starts, like, tapping out the contents of the pipe on just the arm of the chair. And then uh, he looks up at you and he says, I will not help you on your quest to seek the aid of the red. That is folly. Damn. I agree, but okay. <laughs> he kind of like slowly nods and he says but as I said I will think on your request to assist the citadel I will not put dwarven lives at risk but inaction you say will cause their risk also so I will think on this go Thank you. The consideration is all that we ask for. Yeah. He just kind of like leans back in his chair. Mm. Right, we're going. I guess. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> before before we, I'm I'm right in saying we've all had our stuff returned to us. No. No. Right, okay, so it was just Kitty. Never yeah. mind then. <laughs> I was gonna give him a bottle of the really fancy wine. Not the blood stuff. No, not the blood stuff. Not the maybe wine. Um, Do you want to have a trippy dream, mate? Here you go. Here's some maybe wine. (laughs) Try not to take your hammer in with you, though. It might become a sword. Yeah, Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say that. See, I'm I'm wanting to try and maybe talk to him about the vampire-esque thing as well, but... I feel like Stretch. He'll be pissed. Yeah, I don't want to push him too much. (laughs) Yeah. Mm. But not to not get ourselves in trouble, please. Yeah, but the thing is, though, is I'm thinking if we tell him of this, I'll be like, "Look, there's clearly a breach in your defenses already, and this is done by dark, you know, dark elves." I mean, take it actually, uh, right? Be worth mentioning on the way out. Like... Go into the, the D10. Uh, that Combat's vampire. interfering! Uh, uh, yeah, that vampire no, might not be just way. a normal vampire. It might be something like a abysmal of some sort. Look at mine, there is nothing like a normal vampire, as I said. That word yeah. doesn't really exist in this world. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Sorry, Andrew, worth... what were you trying to say? Also, we, we kind of don't want him to get distracted with other stuff. He might say, I'm not helping, because obviously I have my own problems here with the yeah. quote-unquote vampire. Oh, like, maybe hopefully could... we might be able to deal with that on our way out. Ah, uh, no, that's what I'm thinking. Maybe, though, we could be like, well, we'll deal with that problem for you. Well, you... But I also wrote a 10, so I'm going my chaotic group, living up to chaoticness, and I'm just going to question him on it. So does everybody start to leave and then Crumber is still standing there, I take it? Is that the shot no, you I have? Yeah, as, 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 as everyone... So how I've got it in my head is everyone is turning to leave. Um, how is it you pronounce this guy's name again? I mean, technically you've not Sire. asked him his name, but it's... Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes. Patrovangus. Patro- yeah, yeah, it's Patrovangus, yeah. yeah. King, Pat- yeah. King yeah, Donor no, but, Patrovangus. Um, yeah, but I am um, not just Storia told us his name. Uh... I feel like so, somebody did tell you King Patrovangus, yeah. I feel that has the, been said the, I'm, I'm sure Zedre- the, 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 Zedreka probably the, did. Actual yeah, Zedreka sure probably Zedreka did. did. Yeah. Um, so as everyone turns, I, I would just be like... I, w- I would have been last to turn because I wanted to say something to him too, but if you're going to break the ice... I'll I like the idea that everybody goes to walk away and both the users are just still standing like, dude, leave. Yeah. I'm standing by a crumb pile like a meat. We're not done here. <laughs> and I, I'll, anyway, right. I, 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 so, like, as you both stand there, then, right, he'll he's tapping, he's tapped out obviously the contents of his pipe, and he kind of like raises an eyebrow and looks up and sees both of you standing there, and <laughs> I'll just be like, and he opens the arm of the the chair and brings out some what looks like I guess tobacco and just starts like pushing it into his um pipe. I'm it's guessing great. the other one is a beer fridge. The other <laughs> <one>. <laughs> <laughs> and he starts pushing into there, and then uh, he looks up at I you bet. both again, and he's just gonna he's gonna raise the eyebrow, and then he kind of goes back to like fixing his pipe. And it's this really kind of methodical, like you know, he's aware you probably still want to speak, but he's happy to just take the time yeah. to refix his pipe, 
Then, um, I'll wait. Then, oh, I'll wait. Come back and do whatever. And then uh, sorry. It, it closes over the arm of the uh, the chair, and then kind of just taps the uh, the pipe a couple of times with his fingers, and there's just a weeping line of smoke comes out of it, and just puts it in his mouth. And then just like does he clasps his hands over his stomach and just leans back in his chair and just looks at both of you. Mm. As he's kind of sat back, I'll just go, King Patravandrus, there's another thing, there's something you must know about the Undermarch. Okay, like takes the pipe out and goes, Is there a no? Please yeah. enlighten me. <laughs> it's to do about how we got into Forge. We found a room in or a cave in the Undermarch where there was a lot of dark elves. What we walked in on was them performing a ritual. They raised some being from a sarcophagus. We managed to fight most of them off. However, that being man a managed to escape us. Well, we were then looking for a way out. We found a door that led us to forge. The key for that door was on one of these dark elves. Your your walls are not impenetrable. Oh, God. And kind of just sits there. And the glow from the end of the pipe gets slightly brighter. I don't say it in an infect. I like, I don't. I'm. I'm not saying it as a, in, in, <laughs> as like an infet, like as a kind of <laughs> offensive way. I'm not being like, yeah, yeah your no, walls like, are shit. But I'm just saying, like, yeah, yeah. He's sitting there. He's his pipe blows, and he takes a big draw of it, and he sits there, and it just kind of comes out of his nostrils, and uh, he's like looking down at the pipe, looking up at you both, and it takes two to say this to me, does it? And he looks at Bastiel. I also I I, I like the idea that he said that and looked at Bastier and I also look at Bastier like the fuck you doing here bro I'll say well it's as you say dwarves build things to last I thought I'd stick around maybe chat about something entirely different and he just looks at you and then looks back at Crumbar and says does your companion always speak so much but say so little and I'll just like I'll just giggle in an orcish say well the first time I met him I did swing an axe at his face <laughs> and he kind of just he kind of looks at you and he kind of just slowly nods and you can't tell if he's agreeing that that was <laughs> funny or if he's tempted to do the same <laughs> oh my god you're gonna get ground pounded bro I mean, by all means. But, um, yeah. So, he just kind of sits there and he says, Do you wish to try that again? Like my patience. Is it, sorry, is he saying that to me? He's saying or... it to Bastiel. Alright, go. Uh, try what? Is that what you say back to him? <laughs> oh, man, you're going to die. Well, no, I don't know what you... That doesn't make sense to me. So, is this Shan asking Ryan, try what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. As opposed to Bastiel saying, try what, Kingy? Um, <laughs> Royal Flash. Um, yeah, yeah. Try what? What's the thing? Well, you you basically he said why are you standing there, and you went well. I would like to talk about stuff, but really that was him saying no. What what is it you want to talk about? But you didn't say that. You just said nothing to him with a lot of words, and you've already did that to him already. So many times you have tried to say something to him with no point. Right? So uh, he, he wants you to just be as direct as possible. So, yeah. Okay. What he said to Crumbar, does your companion always say so much, but like, sorry, speak so much, but say so little? Mm. Well, I mean, the first thing I said was... We've got loads of stuff to talk to you, but I don't know any of it. It's them that do. Hmm. And he says, why are you talking to me then? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, I, think I don't want to sit in front of Crumbar. <laughs> I mean, well, you got a choice to make, then, bitch. Yeah, you could just say to Crumbar, mm. Crumbar, leave, dude. This is awkward. Leave or join in. <laughs> <laughs> just don't make eye contact. <laughs> <laughs> leave or join in. <laughs> oh my god. 
Hospital reference. <laughs> um, a pre-game reference, may I add? I know, right? <laughs> I could hear everybody um, scrambling to hit the back to the start of the YouTube button. <laughs> thing is, if I show him the source, he's going to smite me. Righteous uh, vengeance. Who, me or the dwarf? King? Both. It's, it's dwarf exactly King. I'm trying yeah. to think what would my character do, though? What He's are not your, smart. I'd... What's your traits on your sheet as well? Because keep in mind, those do help. Um, what did D&D &D give you to work with? Anything useful? Yeah, that's true. Just in Let's case see. it does, because sometimes it does help, right? So I mean, nothing like my optimistic attitude. Yep. Da, da, da. That works. You're pretty optimistic for the most part, yeah? Uh, my piety sometimes leads me to blindly trust. Uh, that also seems fair. Well... I seek to prove myself worthy of my God's favor by matching my actions against his or her teachings. Mm. So That's so unhelpful, isn't it? Because, yeah, teachings, I mean, yeah. yeah. I'll just say, I have never once attacked a player because I thought they were evil. <laughs> never have I ever. <laughs> mm. Drink! <laughs> I mean, I don't think you actually attack are you for being no, I attacked her. the mistress of uh, the flame? I think you were going to, and Twitch. then you cast command, but you never ever actually attacked. Did I not? I, th I thought I did. You no, did no, I didn't. Get I didn't. mind whammied later by the red rope man. Yeah, yeah and attack like, Arya. Yeah. Look, yeah, yeah, command is a thinking. kind of an attack, though, as well. But, yeah, it, it is and it isn't, right? I think he yeah, meant, like, yeah. swing axe at face, yeah, or hammer yeah. at that point before he broke it. So, all right. Here's, here's what I'm thinking, because it's, like, out of, as a player, I'm, I'm saying to the other players, mm -hmm. if I were to show him an abomination inside of me, I don't know if he, he would probably turn on all of us as a group. I don't think he would just turn on me. Well, so, he'd probably try and talk to. <laughs> I don't know, man. He probably just. I think it. he doesn't mean right. crumbar, which he means. Oh, right, the king, sorry. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's not like it's like you know, what's yeah. his name? Bastiel reveals the source, and crumbar gets mind by me again and just attacks everybody. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's a, yeah. But yeah, have a discussion as players just now. I don't mind that if you want to have a chat as players. It's worth like yeah. assessing the, yeah. the situation. I don't want well, to throw away this whole area of the map on this personal quest. <laughs> well, yeah, because it's went surprisingly are, well so far. Uh, uh, Ryan, I'm right in saying Warforged aren't of dwarven origin. Like, it's not only the dwarves that make them. Dwarven origin. Um, it <laughs> is. There, there are no Warforged as far as you're concerned. Mm. Right. I'm just trying to work out, like, would the king know by looking at Bastille that he was made by dwarves? Yeah. Right, okay. So, Cause he's because he's very dwarven looking. It's a stamp yeah. on him, made, so, him, made yeah. by because, dwarves. Made because of dwarves. that, like, mm. anything you do show him, the dwarf king will probably already know of then. Like, if the, dw the dwarf king must obviously know about dwarven warforged. And he must know what goes into powering them, or whatever the hell you're on about. So, like... Now, do you want to tell them how long you've been out of commission for now, Bastille? Uh, I never saw the light of day after the doors made me, because th there is no power source inside of me, but I'm alive. I'm, ba I'm, I'm like a machine zombie, but <laughs> there's no life involved, so it's kind of more like a possessed machine. So you're like animated armor almost. Yeah. Well, right. no, because there is no oh, space meant... inside him that way. Like, it's not like animated armor that way, because it's not armor. Right? Oh, yeah, you can't put me on, fuck's sake. He right, was right, built right, right, like okay. a robot, but the batteries weren't put in, yet it came to life, right? There's a better right, way to put it for Right, Scott. yeah, okay, go. yeah, thank you, mate. You're that welcome. makes more sense. That's, that's what I'm saying, like, he's going to be like, this is unholy. AF. <laughs> yeah, and remember all the blasphemy in the books? Yeah. You just read about? Thinking. Well, I mean, end of the day, it's up to you as a. It is up to your character. In my opinion, it is up to your character what you want to disclose. Clearly, you want to talk to this guy. <laughs> so, whether about you. Know, 
clearly you want to talk to the king about this. Whether the party is there or not, you know, like say the party walk away, if you disclose this to him, like, so, sorry, so say I wasn't there and it was just you and the king and you disclosed this. If you think he's going to turn on the party, it will turn on us all just yeah, anyway. It makes I, no difference that Crumbar is yeah. there based on the worry that he'll turn the party because you still came in with the party. You know, so yeah, Scott has a point. And no, no, but I'm thinking because Crumbar's here, he can kill Crumbar too immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, please. Um, uh... Boom. <laughs> oh, God. Fuck. Okay. Yeah, that is exactly why Bastiel's worries are correct. Okay, I'm just going to... I'm going to come out and say the the name of the person who made me, my my maker. Okay. And I'll see if he recognizes it. Can I just say as well, um, just IRL, like, if you didn't want me to hear any of this, remember, I don't speak Dwarven. No, it was just more that I didn't want him to get pureed with me. Mm. But no, yeah, <laughs> if, like, if, if your character, because I had a feeling that you were feeling that you didn't want Crumbar to hear this. No, that's fine. He no worries. Hear. So, yeah. What name do you give him? Uh, oh, so I'm just putting that in there because that's the part where Crumbar yes. really thinks uh, it's going to work somehow. What name? Uh, hold on, do I'm you want me to come Rick. up with some dwarven names? Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. We're, we're not calling him Rick. Um, <laughs> this is not some big Rick energy. Um, <laughs> I mean, Rick. we had Bob the dwarf, so... Hey, Roberta was awesome, how dare you? <laughs> yep, Robert. Oh, Robert. Roberta. No, Roberta. Oh. She was a blacksmith. She was awesome. She ran Flux, uh, the blacksmith. Um, mm. Flux smells so good. I really like this Flux. name. I'll dump it in general chat, but um, I'm open to suggestions. Um, yeah, that, that is, sounds awesome. That cool is way. so Lord of the Rings. Uh, it was just a random general. Emily? That's badass. Um, I mean, I also put forward. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I like. Uh, uh, how, how about we steal then? Why don't we, yeah, why don't we steal um, that and Andy. we'll merge it? I don't know. It's up to it's up to Bastiel. It says it says dude. All right, I like that Elric Brewblade. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Elric is clearly a dwarven name. Good. Um, I want to go watch Phil Metal now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell Edward the wolf name. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, so good. It. Why are you saying I'm it's, short? <laughs> it's, it's it's okay. It gets better at the end of Brotherhood. <laughs> dwarven uh, maker of. I, I'll just put Dwarven Artificer, I guess. Hmm. Dwarven Artificer, maker of. I only put Shan, but I mean best <laughs> <laughs> There. Busted. I'm an AI. In brackets, 100 years ago. Yeah, I'll tell him the date that I was made and I'll say the name if he responds. Yeah, like, I feel like I was going to ask, how do you know what, what date it is now? But I guess you've had enough time to have, like, acc yeah, acclimated to the, the, the time period um, that you mm -hmm. and Oridak would happily have eventually known whatever date it is. Uh, so, yeah. Ryan, how. Yeah. How old, How long did dwarves live for? Yeah, that's a good question. How much does Crumbar know about dwarves? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just asking personally. No, I'm, I'm asking you as Crumbar. Because <laughs> how would the answer personally make a difference to you as Crumbar? No, uh, well, basically, I was wanting to know if, like, you know, the king would be alive when he was made. Ask him his age. <laughs> I'll pass. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. So yeah, you um. He's not a lady. It'll be fine. I'm so, I'm 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 not making that mistake again. Sebastian, do you want to deliver the line then? Now that we've got a name. Yeah. Uh, what was the date? I guess. Doesn't matter. You can just say the date. The uh, date. That's what I mean. You can say those words. As a placeholder, because okay. time, right? And they're going to sit and build a calendar for you. Remember, we are currently the official date is before the first age. So go figure. Um, yeah. Session 48. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I'll say... Uh, yeah, as soon as he stop, he finishes saying, I don't say anything, I'll mm. almost cut him off. 
almost, mm. and I'll just say Elric Brewblade, and I'll say the date. And the uh, the magical. I was thinking the first age may actually happen before we get this finished. Yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah, <laughs> make it to the third age. <laughs> Dun 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 dun! Ignore the D twenty behind the curtain. And, uh, <laughs> oh god! No, my fate. Yeah, stands up and pounds you a hammer. <laughs> he stands up and he uh, grips the hammer, and he walks forward with it, and you hear the clink on the stone floor from the metal and he walks up to you and he just kind of taps you on the chest with a hammer relatively gently mm. right and he says Here we go. Elric brew bleed made my hammer and then we'll take our break <gasps> there so Whoa! dude you have a brother Whoa. <laughs> I think we found your batteries as well his hammer's glowing and oh, the, uh, say goodbye, everybody, because we'll take our break, then we'll back at Bye. half past. Bye, everybody. <laughs>